Hey, what's going on guys? So it is now time to finally put the cylinder head back together. And um, let me show you what I've been doing in between. Well, before actually like making this video, I have small clips. I have lapped every single valve and um, here's basically what I've been doing before actually putting this together in preparation for that. So check it out. Now we're working on basically just making new valve seats or not making new valve seats but lapping the valves into the new well lapping new valves into the old valve seats with some of this Permatex stuff yeah come on focus some of this and um, yeah so that should help it before I clean it down and such Two weeks later. So that was a lot of work to actually get that done and I'm glad it's done but it's finally time to put it back together. It is as clean as I can possibly make it. Um, so let's go ahead and look and see what we're about to do right now. Alright so here's my little party table workbench and um, so you guys can see um, in comparison to the other videos, this is, is as clean as can be. Let's see if I can get uh, the light to help in there. Alright, so I got a lot of the carbon out, even in some of the exhaust ports. I was going to port this, but unfortunately the rolls I bought only came with a little extension for a die grinder. And I tried modifying the tool and it didn't really work out. Uh, that little scuffing should be, shouldn't be significant. Oh, as you guys can probably see, I did end up resurfacing the head, which is good. But now, um, what we're about to do is, uh, I, everything has been cleaned out. Every single valve has been lapped. As you guys can see, the seats have been lapped. And here's actually all the valves. They are all lapped. These ones on the left are all intake, the ones on the right are the exhaust. So they look freaking awesome as you guys can see right there. Anyway, what we're about to do right now is install all of these um, valve stem seals, the exhaust and intake, and then we are going to start putting together the titanium retainers and the upgraded MWR valve springs along with obviously the upgraded MWR valves. Uh, I'm so excited I can almost hear this thing start. Anyway, um, let's get started. I won't bore you guys with the time lapse because this thing is going to end up being like an hour long video probably. So I'm going to update you guys once I get... Uh, yeah, I see that. No, you can't. Once I get the exhaust uh, ones installed. All right, let's get to it. All right, like 30 minutes later, we finally got every single valve got, uh, valve stem seal installed. And it didn't take too much pressure. I ended up buying this um, mm -hmm. installer and remover. And it makes life a lot easier. Basically just put it on there, stick it in, give it a little bit of a nudge goes in and if I am not mistaken I believe I installed all of these correctly uh, let's see if it'll there you go 
trying to get a good angle for. You can only really see this stuff at extreme angles, like if it's seated properly, like you can kind of see it right there, the bottom end of the seal. So everything has been installed correctly to the best of my ability, I believe. Brown goes on the intake side, blue goes on the exhaust side. And the reason I say that is because that's the way these things came organized. The brown ones came in this I for intake, and the blue ones came in this E for the exhaust side. So, I think it's time we install upgraded retainers. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um. I'll probably record myself trying to get one of them in, but um, we'll see you. Give me a sec. Alright, I lubed up all of the valve stems and just put them in. Um, I already put in the stem seals, so I just popped them all in, in their respective spots. I had them all numbered. Uh, here's two pictures of how that looked. Alright, so all the valves look in place. None of the stem seals look like they um, were affected when I put this put the valves through they're all lubricated and uh, Yeah, so now I'm just gonna try to I'm gonna try to pop in the uh, Keepers with the titanium retainers and the upgraded uh, MWR valve spring set and um, See how it goes all right, as you guys can see right there, I got the first titanium keeper in there. Come on, focus. Uh, let me see if I can move the light off. There you go. First titanium keepers in there, and I believe the retainers are in there correctly. Uh, I'm probably gonna come back and check, but uh, there you go. They look like they're holding it in there. So, I did not film very well that last part, but, uh, all the titanium retainers are on, take my word for it. Also, take this really bad Instagram story post. Of the retainers on. And I lubed up the caps that go on top of it. And put them back on. So, short video, I think. We'll see in editing, but yeah, everything's on, it's lubed up. All the retainers are held in properly, um, so yeah, awesome, the head is put together, now time to gap the rings and put this thing together, peace.